Welcome back Welcome to Sneed State, the final game of round one. It's Gunnersville, Asbury, boys game. Players being introduced to the crowd. As far as the starting lineups, what you got, Dane? Yeah, I got a, I got an Asbury starting lineup. Number 12, Javen McCoy is a freshman. Number 30, Evan C is a senior. Uh, number 32, I'm sorry, Trey Childress is a sophomore. Uh, number 34, Caleb Gentry is a sophomore. And number 40, Landon Bethune is a junior. For Gunnersville, I'm, I'm working here as I'm as I'm going. Uh, got number two, Ross Harrell is a junior. Number 10, Oakley Howell is a sophomore. Number 13, Brody Perry is a junior. Number 14, Brandon Fusell is a senior. And number 35, uh, John Michael McElrath is a senior. Yeah, we've seen the Wildcats play a couple of times. Uh, they just got better each time when we saw them play. And I'm not going to be surprised down the road you see the Gunnersville girls and boys both line up at Jacksonville. Oh, yeah, I think so. Uh, they they cross with, uh, let's see, they cross with Douglas, uh, Boas, Sardis, Crossville. Um, I'm not real. I don't think I remember who's in Gunnersville region, but uh, I, I know they're Maybe cross. Maybe A-Rab. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, I think you're right. And the opening tip belongs to Asbury. They'll have the ball first. If I'm Asbury, I go a slow pace game to slow it down the best I can. Javen McCoy with McCoy in the corner. McCoy dribbles up to the wing and a quick whistle. Did he step out of bounds? Uh, they say he stepped out of bounds, yeah. Gotcha. And he's just a freshman, uh, getting a start and nod. Uh, that's, uh, they're young. They don't have, let's yeah. see, one senior, it looks like. Evan C., the only senior, he's getting the start. Everybody else, underclassmen, driving two cell in the lane for two, no good. Off the glass, rebound, Gunnersville gets it back. Brody Perry, right side of Fusell. Fusell fakes, drives, baseline, lays it up and in for two. He is this so smooth. Brandon Fusell, the 6'2 senior, on top quickly, two zip. Inbound pass, out of bounds. Did anybody touch it? No. Uh, they're having a conference. I don't think so. I think it's oh, just a no. bad pass. Yeah, I thought it was no-brainer. I thought uh, uh, point guard for Asbury zigged, and the, the kid throwing it in thought he was going to zag. Gotcha. So it's got Urzel Ball. Inbound pass, uh, Oakley Howell. Howell down low, Fusell. Jump shot for two, no good. Rebound, Asbury. 7-14 to go early first quarter. Two zip, Gunnersville up. Asbury down the floor, Javen McCoy. McCoy crosses half court, dribbles right side. Fusell guarding him. McCoy, the freshman against Fusell. That's a tough matchup for McCoy. Hands off to his teammate, drives baseline, leans in for two, no good. On rebound, back up, no good. Rebound, Gunnersville. McElrath clears it, clears it out. Here come the Wildcats. Perry, great outside shooter to the top, Fusell. Right side over to Harrell. Harrell back out to the top, Fusell. Fusell moves right side. Dribbles back to the top, over to Howell. Gunners will spread the floor. Howell in the corner, right side. Fusell wide open for three short. Off the rim, bounces high. Rebound, Asbury. Good play call right there for a nice design for a wide open three for your best shooter. And there was nobody within 10 feet of it. Yeah, it just missed us. I mean, that's a great shot. You can live with that. McCoy fakes. McCoy drives, feeds it left corner to his teammate in the corner. Not going to shoot. He'll drive baseline across the baseline. Great pass inside for two. Trey Childress, nice pass, and he lays it in. Good job, Asbury, going inside. That was a tough pass he made. Wildcat ball tied at two. Two minutes gone in the quarter. Fusell, baseline, into the corner. Perry, wide open, left side for three. Got it. They're leaving Gunnersville wide open outside. Uh, and, again, some of the best shooters in the county, and the, you're just uh, – and it's a, it's a design. It's a great design. Full court press, sand bound pass, knocked away out of bounds off of Gunnersville. Well, their press is so tough. Yeah, it's very struggling just with a it. straight man, yeah. deny, and make you work for everything. Inbound pass, McCoy. McCoy cross half court quickly, still dribbling to the wing. Down to the baseline, into the corner. Fakes, drives baseline, feeds it inside. Nope, throws it away. That was a good look. Sure was. He had his man open. This is good defense by Gunnersville. Down the floor, McElrath lays it in for two. They run the floor so well for the easy layup. 7-2 Gunnersville. McCoy cross half court. I think uh, Ross Harrell had a handful of jersey <laughs> holding him. Perry at the top for three. Got it. Nothing but the bottom of the net by Perry. That one didn't even touch the rim. And a timeout, Esbury will take a timeout. Gunnersville building a quick lead. 5 12 to go in the first. 10 2 Gunnersville leads. You're listening to the Marshall County Tournament on Power 107.5. 
With your Citizens Bank and Trust digital wallet, your busy life just got a lot less complicated. The Citizens Bank and Trust digital wallet is compatible with Apple, Google, and Samsung Pay, and is available right now on your mobile device. Citizens Bank and Trust. Small bank, big difference. Family-owned and operated discount building supply in Warrington is a whole lot more than building supplies and hardware. Stop by and browse their 130,000 square foot home center. You'll find popular smoker grills with supplies and seasonings, family outing and tailgate supplies, Yeti coolers, outdoor and hunting apparel, landscape management supplies, boathouse products, and everything to beautify your outdoor living space. Discount Building Supply and Home Center, three generations of the Walker family proudly serving your family. Steve and Marilyn Murphy invite you to visit Harrelson Drugs. In addition to being your trusted health care resource, Harrelson carries a great selection of gifts and collectibles. You'll find aisles of the most popular names and brands suitable for any occasion. They're also your source for customized invitations and printing. You'll always find an all-occasion card to say exactly what you feel. Harrelson's also carries convenience groceries from the shelf and from the cooler. Harrelson Drugs, on the corner of Obreg and Patterson in Gunnersville. At Piggly Wiggly, we work hard to deliver the very best to you and your family. We offer only the top quality Black Canyon Angus beef, swift natural fresh pork, grade A Kegel fresh chicken, smoked, processed, and frozen meat items. One of the most popular promotions at Piggly Wiggly is our Pick 5 Meat Program. Purchase a single pack of meat and pay our everyday low price. Or purchase five packages marked with the bright red Pick 5 label for just $19.99. You get the best of both worlds, great quality meats and a super low price. You'll always find low prices throughout Piggly Wiggly. Gunnersville, the open outside shot. Are they trying to just limit Gunnersville inside? Right now, Gunnersville's killing them outside. I think it's a little bit of a confusion on the defense. They're getting screens. Uh, they're, um, the, play, the play design is spot on. Asbury, full court press. Inbound it, trying to cross half court. Not yet, still trying. Uh, Bethune finally gets it across out. They, oh, they, they uh, almost. That was close. That was almost a, a lazy Job of bringing the ball to class half court. They almost got called for 10 seconds. Now the ball is knocked out of bounds, I think, off the foot of one of the Rams, and they turn it over. Nope, they're going to say it's off of Guntersville. Uh, and this is a heck of a six, seven players coming in. There's number six and seven off the bench. You got uh, uh, Trayvon Avery, 6'3 sophomore, and you got number 32, Cam Logan, a 6'3 sophomore. Those are pretty wow. pretty nice weapons to bring off Antonio the bench. Antonio Spurgeon checks in, so they've got a strong bench. They are deep on this Gunnersville team. Asbury ball down 10 to 2, 444 to go in the quarter. Right side pass, McCoy on the wing. McCoy, did he step out of bounds again? Yeah, it looks like he did. They got him mm. for that one. He's got to be careful. He slammed the ball to the to the floor. Official looked at him. I know he's frustrated. Got to be careful, though. Yeah, that's right. I just drop it. Just drop the ball. Yep, wildcat ball. Fusell brings it down. Fusell on the wing, dribbles to the corner. On the wing, Perry turns, spots, fires a three off the back of the rim, no good. Rebound to Gunnersville. Perry's hit two of them already. The county's kind, of, kind of moving when he fired the three. Perry at the top, right side, Fusell. Fusell drives back outside. Perry at the top, open for three again. Got it, three of them, three out of four in the first quarter. When he gets in the zone, that was a, a college three that time, yeah, beyond and, college. And those are rhythm shots. I mean, anybody else I'd say, yeah, I don't know about that one, but but. He knocks those shots down time yep. and time again. Cross half court, yeah. turnover, yeah. yeah Tried he, to stop and pass, turnover traveling. Yeah, he drug his foot yeah. a little bit right there. And, and, and I spoke, Ryan, I'm sorry. I saw three and two. It's not Cam Logan, 32. It's 23, Antonio Spurgeon. They've got such a deep bench. Trayvon Avery here in front of us. They list him as 6'4". Uh, He's tossed in the hair. It's at least 6'6". Six, six. Oh, at least 6'6". Six, six. Yeah. Boy, he can jump. He can jump like a seven-footer, too. Long He's been hurting man. most of the year. Good yeah. to have him back for the Wildcats. Avery fakes. He'll drive. Lays it up. Comes up short. Rebound. He tips it away. Gets it back. Wildcats in the lane for two. No good. Missed by Spurgeon. Loose ball. Fighting for the loose ball. They're going to call a jump ball. And this is where Gunners is going to be able to exert their dominance, I believe. Uh, they're, they're bigger, taller, uh, more, a little bit more athletic underneath, especially they're going to they're going to kill the offensive rebounds. Inbound pass, Spurgeon. Spurgeon lobs it inside underneath Avery. Avery goes back over the rim, lays it in for two. Now you're right. He's 6'4", at least 6'4", but when he jumps, his hand is almost just laying it over the rim. And he's got such a long wingspan, which matters in basketball. Uh, and that, that's 
That's hard to stop. He's only a sophomore, too. Only going to get better. As Barry Ball down 15-2. to 3.15 to go in the quarter. Across half court. Fusell almost is still in front of us. Boy, Hayden Morton checked in. He's having a tough time just setting up the offense. Pass out of McCoy. McCoy deep three. Barely grazes the rim. Rebound Asbury underneath. Fakes goes up in the lane. No good but a foul. Good job by Morton getting the rebound underneath. Uh, welcome to the county tournament, young man. You're a sophomore. This is your first county tournament action, and uh, we're going to ask you to bring the ball up against one of the best defenders in the county in Fusel. Wow. He did a good job, though. I mean, he, he was battling all the way down the floor, finally got it across half court. First free throw by Morton, no good. Uh, and I played a little bit in the county tournament as a sophomore on varsity, and it's extremely nerve-wracking. Uh, and and I, I didn't start like this young man, but that was uh, that's that's real tough yeah. to do. The nerves are all over the place. Second free throw, no good. Uh, but they're going to stop it. Did it, it miss the rim? I didn't see. I think I, in the lane? I think he stepped on the line. Gotcha. So Gunners with the ball, 15-2 lead, 2:49 to go in the first quarter. Fusell brings it across half court, gives it to Perry. Perry, final game of round one of the Marshall County tournament. The winner of this one takes on Albertville coming up on Friday night. Albertville won earlier over a round 56 to 39 to put their spot into the uh, semifinals. Brody Perry right side pass to Avery. 229 to go in the quarter. Perry near half court. Perry dribbles right side pass to Fusell. Fusell on the wing for a three. Too hard off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound. Gunners again another offensive rebound. Fusell again fires. Different spot. Knocks it down. I mean it's it's just sitting out here on Sunday afternoon shooting but there's, there's not a lot of not a lot of guys defending them in their face. They're getting wide open shots. 18 to two, 205 to go. As Barry Ball better hurry across half court, finally gets it across half court. Well done, good job by McCoy. McCoy, the freshman, good looking freshman for Asbury. Does a good job of handling the ball. McCoy has it knocked out of his hands. He can get his foot stepped on. Big toe, I think he's my big toe. Hurt yeah, my big toe. Big toe, he's asking to come out. Yeah, it had to hurt. Have a trainer look at it. Yeah. So he'll check out. Another freshman comes in, uh, Garrett Madden. It's, it's a young team for the new coach. Outside, jumper for three, no good. Rebound, battling for the rebound. I like the look of Trey Childress, the 6'2", sophomore uh, under the goal. That's He's a uh, big guy. He yeah, does a good that, job that's, battling that's underneath. Well put together young man to be a, to be a sophomore. I, I didn't really see the foul right there, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's a good-looking sophomore. Got to wonder if he might play some Asbury football. He needs to. I mean, that's. Uh, He's a strong young man, did a good job battling Gunnersville for that rebound. Wildcats go back to the bench. E.J. Havis comes in. Fusell drives baseline, feeds it inside, underneath for two, laying it in. Fitz Gibbons lays it in for two. 124 to go in the quarter. As Barry Ball down 20 to two. Schull against a full court press, trying to cross half court. Ty Yancey guarding him, a good defense. And one thing I've noticed, uh, we haven't seen uh, Jackson Porch play. I'm not sure injury, but uh, last time we saw him play, yeah, he, right. he lit it up uh, with the three pointers. I, I don't can't tell if that's him. And not uh, sure. I can't tell. I can't tell if that's him. I know he was a young man. I think transferred in and lit it up last time they played. Oh yeah, he's and he started the, yeah, the two games. I've done, I've uh, I've called. As Barry Ball, Madden across half court. Madden dribbles left side. Madden on the wing. Hands off, teammate at the top, the big guy. Childress steps out. Childress, pass over to uh, Caleb Gentry. Gentry, back to the top. They got the big man, Childress out at the top. Driving in the lane, good move in the lane for two, no good and a foul. Good job by Hayden Morton taking it to the basket. Oh, uh, offensive foul. Yeah, so except, I don't know if I agree with that call. I thought, yeah. I thought he was moving a little bit too much for that one. So Gunnersville ball up 20 to two, 45 seconds to go in the opening quarter. Ty Yancey brings it up. Gunnersville at the moment, no starters out there. Date Peterson also in the game. At the top, C.J. Scott. Left side pass over to Peterson. Back to the top, Fitzgibbons. Not going to shoot, 30 seconds. They may hold for the final shot. Nope, they won't. Wide open, wide wait when Fitzgibbons can lay it in for an easy two. Defense fell asleep, just lost him. 22 to 2. Ball is thrown into the bench. Last touch by Gunnersville. Let's see. Uh, nope, there's a wildcat ball. 
this gunner's the ball, so another turnover. Yeah, and, and it seems like everything Coach Self is calling is, is, yeah. is, is working. Ty Yancey, 17 seconds, bounce pass. Backdoor baseline is a good good thought, but he led P uh, Peterson just a bit much out of bounds off of Gunnersville. As Barry Ball inbound pass is knocked back out of bounds. As Coach Bunnell from Albertville is over there watching, getting scouting for the next game, thinking, man, these guys are good. Yeah, and he's just he's just trying to say, are they doing anything different? We know their personnel. Yeah. If I'm Coach Bunnell, I know their personnel. Sure. I know what they're going to do. Are they? Are they? Do they have any different setups? Do they have any different right. schemes? Trying uh, to find a weakness. Some, that's right. Just something that they've changed up well, or half, what? Half court. And Morton beats the defense. Goes in, misses the shot, but he's fouled. Good job by Hayden Morton getting behind the defense. Took it strong to the basket. He'll shoot two free throws. Ten and, seconds to go in the quarter. Yeah, and I, I go back to the play calling for Gunnersville and Coach Self. Coach Self is is a phenomenal basketball coach. Yep. Like he he makes adjustments. Uh, he changes year to year based on personnel. And, and to me, that that says a lot about uh, a coach. Can you make the adjustment? Can you change what you're doing from year to year to fit your personnel? Yep. Morton made the first one, missed the second one. Rebound Gunnersville. Time for a shot. Six seconds. Five across half court. At the top, C.J. Scott. Scott at the top, open for a three-pointer. No good by Peterson, and the first quarter is over. We'll take a timeout. Gunnersville leads 22-3. to You're listening to the Marshall County Tournament on Power 107 Time. REMAX Gunnersville is a proud supporter of the Gunnersville City Schools, academics, and athletics. Best of luck to the Wildcats throughout the year. For all your real estate needs, call on the local professional staff at REMAX Gunnersville, 256-582-5585. Natural Gas Appliances from your Marshall County Gas District gives your home the clean, comfortable feel of natural gas. And for a limited time, you can get great rebates on brand new natural gas appliances. Gas Furnace, a $1,000 rebate. Tankless Water Heaters, $300. Closed Dryer or Gas Lights, $200. Cooktop Range, $100. Plus $50 back on lights, grill, logs, and wall heaters. Call your Marshall County Gas Office for more details. With locations in Arab, Albertville, and Gunnersville, Or call toll-free at 1-800-552-1382. Natural gas. Looking for a lawn care service to add a fresh look to your home or business? Shelton Lawn Service can take your property to the next level with an emphasis on quality and affordability. Whether you're looking to maintain your current yard or ready to refresh your design, the Shelton Lawn Service professionals can handle the job. They love to help clients create the landscape of their dreams and rediscover the beauty of being outdoors. For a free estimate, give Brandon Shelton a call today at 256 Two nine three eight eight one six. As the Electric Board of Gunnersville, we want you to know that we are your partner in the community, providing reliable electricity and exceptional customer service. We're committed to helping our community succeed as it continues to grow. The Electric Board of Gunnersville strives for excellence and takes pride in everything we do. No street light is too small or substation too big for us not to do the job well. And we hope our commitment, character, and integrity shine through every time you meet us as we empower our community to be the best it can be. First Baptist Church of Gunnersville is another proud supporter of Gunnersville High School. Best of luck to the Wildcats throughout the seasons. Welcome back. First quarter for a round, uh, excuse me, Asbury to have a chance to win this one. They had to play perfect basketball, but it's tough to when you're playing a good team like Gunnersville. Yeah, they're, they're pressing. Uh, and Arab is, or no, you, you made me do it. Uh, Asbury has got young guards, yeah. and when you're able to put kind of that kind of pressure on young guards, uh, you know, it's bad stuff probably going to happen. And you're facing so much experience out here on the floor at one time, and for a lot of these, it's your first Marshall County tournament, period. Asbury ball. They feed it inside. Got a little shove in the back as he went across the lane. No foul. Gunners will back the other way. Fusel. Hands off to the top. Open Ross Harrell for three. No good with a rebound. Asbury, very impressive. Again, Childress skies high for the rebound. I like the, the play of that young man for Asbury. Asbury ball, loose ball, knocked loose, stolen. Down the floor, Oakley Howell. Howell in the lane, got it, and he's fouled. You can see that one coming. Yeah. He's being chased by two men, and they were not going to let him uh, make the layup without. If you're going to foul him, but don't let him make the shot. Yeah, and give give credit to uh, to Oakley Howell for having the strength. He's just a sophomore. He's a young kid. I guess I realize that he he had the strength to take the harm, take the foul, and, and get the ball up high enough on the backboard to get the bucket. Howell's free throw, no good. Rolls off the rim. Rebound. Gunnersville gets it again. Back in the lane. 
Not open. Kicks it back out to the top. Perry fires a three off the rim. No good. Bouncing out. Loose ball. Rebound as Bears got it. Perry, three out of five. Shooting threes at three in the first quarter. 24-3. Gunnersville leads. Seven minutes to go. First half. As Berry ball. Javen McCoy. Right side on the wing for three. Got it. Nice shot by Hayden Morton, the sophomore. First three of the game for the Asbury Rams. Uh, Gunnersville don't do this very often. They had a little breakdown of defensive communication that resulted in a wide open three. Ross Harrell brings it up, hands it to Fusell. At the top, gives it to Perry. Perry deep out. I thought that's off. The shot was a pass to Fusell. <laughs> I thought, man, that's a terrible shot. It was a pass. Down the other way, they missed the shot. Asbury with the ball. How about that? Laying it in. Hayden Morton beat the defense and lays it in. As they're making a little run here, 24 to 8. Gunnersville ball. Fusell will drive in the lane. No good rebound. Michael Rath back up and he is found. Uh, 14 there for Asbury. Lucas White hit his head pretty good on the floor. I Ooh. thought maybe uh, he hopped up, luckily, because uh, he came back. I thought he hit his head pretty good. Looks like he is okay. At the line, Michael Rath. Gunnersville's won 23 county titles. And last year, if you remember, they played Albertville in a, a thriller. Losing last year. That's right, yeah. They've won 23 games. Yeah. Wow, that's the nice. best. It's the most. The last title was back in 2017 against Asbury. Mm -hmm. Now, the interest that they played for six of the last seven county championships. Wow, They've been in the finals how about six that? out of the last seven years. Free throw, good. That says a lot right there. Yeah. They've lost two years in a row to Albertville. But they did have that one COVID year we didn't have the tournament, so there's a, an off year there. Uh, balls off the leg of one of the Rams out of bounds. And that, that wouldn't have been a very good uh, – that one was Albertville's uh, – Albertville had a really good team that yeah. year. A uh, bunch, of, bunch of good seniors. That's a shame, too, that Hammonds had affected all the sports. In the lane, laying it up and in, Ross Harrell with the pass, beat the defense, lays it in, everything going right for Gunnersville right now. Yeah, and, and again, I said at the beginning of uh, the fourth quarter of the Albertville A-Rap basketball uh, – girls game, I'm sorry uh, – once you kind of get to that 30 point, it's it's more customary to kind of back the press up and do that kind of stuff. But until I'm the, before I'm that number, I'm yeah. not backing the press up. No, just work on what you need to work on at the top. Perry for three, got it. Brody Perry, I mean, this is still first half. Player of the game, I mean, man, you had four threes in the first half. That's impressive. Yeah, he's about four for six, I think, something yeah. like that. And these are all just bottom of the net, too, dead on in the lane. Nice move by McCoy. Layup, no good. Gunners for the rebound. Asbury has some young, very good-looking young talent. When you're playing in your own area, yeah, I could see them being a very good ball team. But, I mean, you're playing a very good 5A team, one of the top 5A teams in the state right now. Yeah, it's so much, like you said, so much experience. A -ra up. Well, I, I continue to do that. Asbury has got good guards. They're just, they're just yeah. young guards. And, well, that falls right into the strength of Gunnersville's defense is their guard play. It's 31 to 8. Gunnersville leads. 5:37 to go on the half. Wildcat ball. Fusell, waiting, waiting. Finally lobs it into Perry. Back to Fusell in the right corner. Fusell spots up for a three. Got it. Fusell uh, got him. That's his second three of the game. They've had five between Perry and Fusell together. 34 to 8. As Barry cross half court. Lucas White knocked loose. The steal. Oakley Howell takes it away. Howell in the lane lays it up and in for two. Defense forcing turnovers, laying it in. It's like sharks out there. There's blood in the water, and they're just piling on right now. 36 to 8. 505 to go in the half. As Barry walks it up, right side, Morton. Morton at the top, loose ball. And down come the Wildcats again. Fusel down the floor, lays it up and in for two. It's tough on Asbury to keep the, uh, I mean, to keep trying out there. I mean, you're just getting beaten by a very good team. It's it's frustrating. It, it is frustrating, and if you've coached or played long enough, you, you, you're going to take these. Uh, you don't ever want them. You hope they never happen in a tournament play, but sometimes they do. Sometimes yeah. you just run into a team that's better than you. Loose ball, another steal. Down the floor, Trayvon Avery goes up, slams it a home left-handed. Avery with a dunk and a timeout. Asbury will take a timeout. 4.24 to go on the half. 40 to 8 Gunnersville. You're listening to the Marshall County Tournament on Power 1075. With gas prices and inflation at an all time high, Alexander Ford understands it's tough out there. We do not want to be just some dealership, we want to be your dealership. For all your sales, parts, and service needs, we believe we can save you money. 
We have new inventory on the way, a fully stocked parts department, and an award-winning service department. Alexander Ford has been family owned and operated for over 50 years in Boaz. We want to be a part of your family. Supreme Courts is your ultimate local indoor facility for competition youth sports, training, and recreation activities. Home to impact basketball and volleyball. Give Jonathan Hyde a call at 256-527-1051. Shelton Body Shop Highway 79 South in Gunnersville is the place to go when you need auto body repair of any type. Jeff Shelton will be happy to give you a free estimate. And remember, it's not your insurance company's decision. You have a choice about which body shop you'd like to use for your repair work. Shelton Body Shop is on Highway 79 South. Call 256-582-8869. Shelton Body Shop serving North Alabama's auto repair and refinishing needs for 51 years. A business built on faith and Christian values. Since 1992, Horizon Communications has brought you community channel programming. As we're preparing for another season of high school sports, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank our many loyal community-minded sponsors who've supported Horizon's local origination programming through the years. We encourage our local viewers to patronize our local sponsors and let them know how much you enjoy Horizon's community channel broadcast. For information on joining our team of community channel broadcast sponsors, Give Mike Harden a call at 256-582-7373. First Baptist Church of Gunnersville is another proud supporter of Gunnersville High School. Best of luck to the Wildcats throughout the seasons. We're talking about this. I mean, you never just want to give up, which you're not. I mean, you don't want to keep doing, trying your best to run your offense. But, man, 32-point game, and you're not even halfway through the second quarter yet. Yeah, and again, and then I said just a second ago, sometimes you just run up against a team that everything's working for them. Uh, and I'm not taking anything against Gunnersville at all. They're a phenomenal basketball yep. team, uh, and they're they're stealing basketballs. They're they're shooting gaps. They're shooting layups. It's not like they're knocking down a bunch of crazy shots. And as Barry, just from the looks of them, I'm saying when they play in their area, I think they're probably a very good basketball team. A very young team, like that young man right there. They go inside to trade Childress again. Childress using his power lays one in left-handed. I think they have some very good young talent. Hey, and you might be seeing Asbury getting, uh, you know, a, a two or three seed in the next couple of years because they, they are chock full of young yeah. kids. Like children, he's six two. They got some size. He's got some. He's got the the build on him. Yeah, he's a good he's a good looking uh, good looking athlete. Javen McCoy, the five eleven freshman point guard, is super quick, good ball handler. This is a very good young team, but man, they're running to just a powerhouse Wildcat team right now. Brody Perry at the top, left side of Fusell. Fusell drives baseline, lays it up and in for that is so smooth. One step and he's around the defender. Two steps later, he's laying it in. His touch around the rim is, is uncanny. It's the best I've seen in high school basketball in a long, long, long time. 42 to 11. Gunners will lead Jasberry ball. 3.33 to go on the half. Asbury Evan C at the top C. Hands off, free throw line, jump shot for two. Miss, no good, but Gentry, rebound Gunnersville. Brody Perry's got the rebound. Here come the Wildcats. Trayvon Avery down the floor. Avery at the top. Spins left side underneath. Kicks it back out to Perry at the top. Wildcats getting set to put five fresh faces back in the game. 307, 306 to go on the half. Winner of this one, which uh, you think is going to be in Gunnersville, will take on uh, the Aggies coming up on uh, Friday night. And I think you'll have a big crowd for that game. Oh, that, a Friday night game, that'll be a huge crowd. It's a shame that's not going to be uh, really a tournament championship. But then, hey, look on the other side of the bracket, you got Douglas. Yeah. Douglas. Yeah, you still got Douglas. And Douglas, Douglas is a very really good, good ball team. Really good team. And they're playing a good DAR team who played well when they beat Boaz. Yeah, that on Thursday night game is going to be fun, too. The, the boys' action is going to be fun. Friday night, I think the girls' games will be fun. That's absolutely. On the wing for three, knocking it down. So, as Barry gets a three. 2.22 to go in the half, 42 to 14. Uh, the shot, by the way, is made by Caleb Gentry with the tray on the wing for three. That one, Perry, no good. Knocked out, good hustle. David McCoy, McCoy down the floor, lays it up, missed the layup, rebound by Perry. Here come the Wildcats quickly right side to Trayvon Avery. Avery in the lane, throws it away. Getting back, good hustle by Trey Childress. Yeah, just, just play, all right? Don't pay attention to the score. If, I, if I'm coach for either team right here, we're not playing the score, we're playing us. We're playing, Asbury's playing Asbury, Gunnersville's playing Gunnersville, uh, and you take it in minutes 
two-minute sections. Did we uh, did, did we play better those two minutes and stuff like that? You got to sure. make game in, inside of the game. Inside, driving to the basket, shots up, blocked. Uh, Asbear kicks it back out on the wing, open for a jump shot for two, no good. Nice shot by C. This would not fall down. And on the rebound, have a whistle or a foul or uh, a timeout. 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 And the timeout will take a timeout. 1.33 to go on the half. 42-14 Gunnersville. You're listening to the Marshall County Tournament on Power 107.5. I knew at a very early age I wanted to be a pharmacist. I started working in a drugstore dipping ice cream at 15 years old. Buddy is not only my mentor and my boss, he's also my uncle. It's a small town and we live in a great community. They're not only patients to us, they're, they're friends. He and his staff go above and beyond in treating you as a person, not as a prescription number. Everyone loves Buddy Bunch. Everyone in this community loves and appreciates it. Buddy's in Montgomery when we're having our legislative session days and we have committee meetings. He's always there. He's educating us on what it truly means to the independent pharmacist. Health Mart's been a part of my, my business uh, about as long as Health Mart has, has existed. And it feels like you have someone to kind of lean on, almost like you have a home office you can call if you have a problem. The big guys, your son or your daughter, wake up sick in the middle of the night, they're not gonna come and open their doors. Buddy Bunch does that for people. He does that. You wake up in the morning and, and you know you're going to the pharmacy and you know you're gonna be there about 10 hours. You better like it, and, uh, and I really do. I wouldn't do anything else. Congratulations to Buddy Bunch and his staff at Bunch Pharmacy as they were honored as the 2022 Health Mart National Pharmacy of the Year. First Baptist Church of Gunnersville is another proud supporter of Gunnersville High School. Best of luck to the Wildcats throughout the seasons. At 42 to 14, Gunnersville on top, 133 to go. Wildcat ball, they uh, take the five out, put five fresh faces in. Ty Yancey back on the floor. Also, Dave Peterson back on the floor, as well as, let's see, a C.J. Scott's out there. Uh, C.J. Havis. Havis has the ball back to the top to C.J. Scott. Scott over to Yancey. Yancey to also Fitzgibbons out there. Right side pass on the wing to Peterson. Tried to lob it down a little too high over the head of his teammate out of bounds. We call that a seven slip, a slip screen. So you're going to set a ball screen and you slip it. It's a call between uh, the guy screening and the uh, the guy receiving the screen. So, you, we, like I said, seven, we called seven, which means I'm slipping this screen. Uh, and he was open. If he kept rolling to the rim, that's sure. why the pass went over his head. Uh, the screener uh, stopped. As Barry Ball at the top, firing a three, comes up short, no good, missed by Gentry. Hit a three seconds ago, rebound Gunnersville down the floor to Havis. Havis lost it, trying to save it, does good hustle, saves it to Yancey, then he'll lose it. Here comes Asbury. Quickly down the floor to Gentry. Gentry in the lane, pulls up, jump shot for two off the glass, no good. Rebound to Gunnersville, Havis has it. 35 seconds to go in the half. Across half court, C.J. Scott hands it to Ty Yancey. Sit they high up, try to work out one final shot. I think they will, Yancey dribbling here at half court. Yancey dribbling, 23-22. And Asbury's okay with this. Absolutely, it's 42-14. to 14. And dribbling the ball here in front of us is Yancey, 14, 13. 10 seconds, now they make the move. He hands off to Harrell, left side to Havis. Havis, seven, six, right side pass. Harrell in the corner, steps back, fires a three, it's short. Rebound, tip, good. At the buzzer, Fitzgibbons tips it in, and the Wildcats add two more. Halftime, we'll take a timeout. Gunnersville on top, 44 to 14. You're listening to the Marshall County Tournament on Power 107.5. Since 1952, Wilkes Tire and Battery Service in Albertville has been the best place to take your vehicle for service you can trust. The Wilkes family takes pride in carrying on a tradition of providing great service, working with integrity, and giving back to the community. For tires, batteries, auto services, and more, choose people you can trust. At Wilkes Tire and Battery Service, we get you started and keep you going. Screwdriver. Screwdriver. 
Pliers. Pliers. Phone. Care can be distracting. Phone. That's why our new Whirlpool Smart Range lets you care smarter with control from anywhere. So life doesn't revolve around your range. Give me that Phillips screwdriver, would you, kiddo? Every day, care. Whirlpool. Visit the helpful, knowledgeable staff at Bonds Appliance on Gunner Avenue in Gunnersville. You walk in the door, it's a hometown atmosphere, just a great place to purchase a vehicle. We're going to do what we say we're going to do. I've been a customer for over eight years and I love it. The customer will relax and feel like that there's no pressure. We've had a very good experience. I will come back here to buy whatever cars that we are going to buy in the future. We don't try to steer you in a different direction. For us, we don't need to go anywhere else. We want everyone to walk in to feel like they're at home, that they're part of our family. Because at Sand Mountain Toyota, we are more than a dealership. Your local Foodland Market. Your store for everyday low prices and weekly specials with savings on every aisle and friendly customer service throughout the store. We sell only the best USDA inspected meats. Our trained meat cutters offer fresh cut meats to your specification. Our fruits and vegetables are always fresh. Quality and variety you deserve every day. Your local Foodland Market. Where savings plus service plus selection equals satisfaction. Welcome back. Second half underway. Gunners all on top, 44-14 with the ball first. Brandon Fusell down to the baseline. Fusell turns, leans in, lays it in for two. Right where they left off to end the first half. Yeah, Coach Self must be trying to get uh, some of his starters, that player of the game, a uh, gift, gift card down there. <laughs> it's got to be. Got to be. So Perry and Fusell battling it out for player of the game right now. Uh, well, again, thank you to Foodland for making this possible, doing it every game we do at the Marshall County Tournament. And shot no good by Asbury. Here come the Wildcats, cross half court to Perry. To Fusell, wide open, open for a three, no good, short. Bounces out, rebound Asbury. Bethune down the floor, he's cut off. He'll hand it to Gentry. Gentry hit a three in the first half, out to uh, Javen McCoy at half court. I'm with you, just go back, forget the score, just come in here and just do the best you can. Let's have a much better second half, guys. So leave here with something to be proud of. Yeah, possession by possession. Yeah. Possession by possession. Bethune dribbles into the lane. Runner into the lane for two. No good. Rebound Gunnersville. Ross Harrell brings it up. Harrell crosses half court. Dribbles left side. Down to the baseline. Lost the ball out of bounds. Turnover Gunnersville. And we did find out that uh, Jackson Porch is uh, just under the weather. And, I mean, hey, I, I'm with you. If he's under the weather, let him rest tonight. He'll get Wednesday off and Thursday. Then maybe he'll be ready Friday. Yeah, that's right. It was Friday, the winner of this one, which should be Gunnersville, takes on Albertville in the semifinals. As Barry Ball driving into the lane, bounce pass right side. The big guy leans in, I like his uh, style. Yeah, big body right there. Trace just Childress bangs his way in and lays it in for two for Asbury. Just big boy. Again, that's impressive. Uh, that, that's impressive. That's yep. a senior that he just big boy down there. Gunnersville ball, 46-16, 6-16 to go in the third quarter. Perry to the top, Fusell, college three, NBA three, too far out, no good. Rebound, Gunnersville, Howell back up, no good. Tipped out of bounds off of Asbury. I assume there's going to be a lot of swallowed whistles right here in this third quarter yeah. uh, to get to the fourth quarter to get to that running clock. Uh, Ooh, just let them play. Yeah, I mean, hard fouls will be called, but. It's like a good old scrimmage. Laying it in, Fusell beat his man, lays it up and in for two. How many for a few sale now? Uh, I got him at 14, 16. Oh, no, I missed that one. Maybe 18. 18 for a few sale. 48, 16, Guntersville on top. Javen McCoy dribbling up the top. McCoy drives. Nice move in the lane. No good off the glass. Rebound to Guntersville. A few sale cross half court right side to Howell. They'll slow it up. Howell, free throw line. A few sale. Where'd the defense go? They just went the other way, and he lays it in. I know you've got another man open on the left, but you, this is Brandon Fusell. Yeah, I mean, we got uh, personnel. you got no personnel. That's that's 18, I'm sorry. Yeah. So if you see 14 touch the ball, if it's possible, double team him. McCoy dribbles at the top. McCoy right side pass to Bethune. Bethune, free throw line, turns back out to McCoy. McCoy on the wing. McCoy dribbling into the lane. Well, got away with a little travel there. They're going to call a foul. Yeah, and, and I agree with Coach Self. I, I, I understand the score, but sure. the three or four steps, is that's illegal in the yeah, uh, I mean, even still, South America. If it happens, call it. You don't just want to travel and double dribbles up the like that, absolutely. Uh, McCoy at the line, the 5'11 freshman. 
Asbury, they've never won a county title. They played in the finals back in 2017 and lost to Gunnersville. So they were there back six years ago. Uh, they've had some pretty good squads yeah. up here. I know, I know they've got beaten in the count, in the semifinals a couple of times. Seemed like Albemarle's played them in the semifinals yep. a couple of years. They throw good by McCoy. He'll check out. Checking out the game will be Garrett Madden, another freshman. And when you're a smaller school, one win in the county tournament is impressive. Uh, it, it doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't. When you're a smaller school, uh, you're just trying to get established, yep. trying to get your feet in the door. One win is impressive. Kind of like Brindley Mountain years ago, the girls finally won a game, and a couple of years later, they actually won the Marshall County Tournament. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's, that's what it takes. Something to build on. In the corner, Perry for three off the rim, no good. Battling for the rebound. Is there a foul? There is a foul on Gunnersville. Yeah, foul on a Ross Harrell for the Asbury ball. Uh, Perry shoots that ball. It's a great looking shot, but I, I don't. Uh, yeah, I do. Dylan Harding in like 2016, 15, uh, when he shot it so high, and that's exactly how Perry shot yep. it, is it's extremely high. And he's only, what, a junior, so another year yeah. for Perry. This is uh, still this is a fairly young team. On the wing, open for three, no good, off the rim. Battling around, Asbury, nope, Gunnersville comes down with it. Here come the Wildcats. Fusel brings it up right side. Driving McElrath lays it in for two. McElrath running the floor well. Nobody picked him up. He caught the pass and laid it in. Yeah, reward the big guys for running. 52-17 Gunnersville. 4.05 to go in the third. Lob it down low to Childress baseline. Oh, my goodness. There's a, a little bit of a flop and also a big uh, elbow and a big shoulder. Man. So was that a mixture of both? There yeah, that, that was a, that was a big Woo. flop. I mean, it, he he took the hit, and I think that he got called for the shoulder yeah. and the elbow. It definitely wasn't that hard, but he he did lower it right. a little bit. Wildcat ball. They'll bring it up. Offensive foul against Asbury. They'll bring it down. Fusel walks it up. 3:45 to go in the third. Fusel dribbles right wing, pulls up, fires a three. Got it. Fusel give him three more. Is it possible after one game to already be on the all-tournament team? Uh, yes, it is. Absolutely it is. Fusel just keeps adding to his numbers. Uh, he didn't let up here in the second half. Oh, you're talking about Fusel. I thought you were uh, talking about oh, me. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, there's still a little iffy on that one. Oh, my goodness. Uh, was that plan? Fusel throws one off the glass, and then Avery trailing him slams it home. Absolutely. That's That, that was a design when that ball was stolen. They knew what Beautiful. was going there. Avery trailing Fusel. Well, the dunk, Avery with the ball again. Left side, drives baseline, goes in. He's fouled, he'll shoot two. How about Trayvon Avery, the 6'4 sophomore? And he's uh, been out for really most of the year, back healthy now. With him healthy, that's just another huge weapon for these Wildcats. Uh, and there, uh, his athleticism, his strength, his athleticism, his length, uh, he's, he's a heck of a basketball player as a sophomore. A uh, little left-handed shot. I don't guess I realized he was left-handed. Well, yeah, I do. He dunked it left-handed earlier. Uh, but uh, nice little shot. Uh, he's, he's a good basketball player. 58 to 17, free throw, got them both. That's the scary thing about the Wildcat team. Yes, they'll lose to sell and Spurgeon and McElrath. Look at all the other talent they got coming back. Uh, and Jackson Porch, uh, he's an incredible point guard for me. He's yeah. not even playing here tonight. So it's, they're not, I mean, they're going to be strong again next year. And again, possibly the next year. At the top for three, shot no good, missed by Gentry. Rebound Gunnersville, quickly out to Harrell, running the floor to Fusel. Fusel fakes, he'll drive in the lane for two. It's like nobody just moves over to stop him when he drives. They just stand and watch it all. Get out of his way. 61 to 17, 228 to go in the third. As Barry Ball, Madden dribbling at the top. Wildcats will take on Albert, will coming up Friday night. It'll be a big crowd for that one on the wing for three. Gentry, good looking outside shooter. Talking of good young talent, his second three of the game. Yeah, again, just a sophomore. Uh, he's a very confident shooter yep. as well. Wildcat ball, left side. Harold drives baseline. My guess is, and this is my guess, that Perry and Fusell probably won't see them again in the fourth quarter. I wouldn't uh, think. I would imagine he's getting pretty close to uh, to calling this a night for these two young men. Yeah. Uh, they've earned it. Oh, he's got 23, 21, 23. Uh, Fusell does. So, I mean, he's. Sure. And they're, they're, it's, can you say quiet? 
23 points because that, that yeah. was that was kind of what happened. Uh, that's a heck of a move right there, too. Avery drives baseline, goes with Perry. All is coming from outside with the, uh, the beautiful looking threes. Then you got Fusel, kind of the, uh, the blue collar guy. He just takes it inside and drives into the lane and it works hard for his two every time. Yeah, and he's a phenomenal shooter too, yeah. but, but he doesn't he doesn't settle for outside shots. That's what I love about his game. He's got a couple of threes too. 61-17, 151 to go in the third. Asbury ball, pull up jump shot, nice shot off the rim. No good, miss by Gentry. Rebound, Gunnersville. Spurgeon the rebound. Out to Fusell. Fusell will drive, he'll back it out. Hands to Spurgeon. Traveling called on Gunnersville. So we'll definitely have the running clock, 64 to 20. Gunnersville led 22-3 after one quarter, 44-14 at the half. They've outscored Asbury 20 to six here in the third quarter. And a lot of them are Fusell layups. Yeah. Right side, Lucas Wyatt. Wyatt, baseline pull up shot, one-hander, no good. Tipped out, rebound, Gunnersville again. Uh, Asbury really getting no offensive rebounds with this Gunnersville team. Not, exact, not exactly taller, they you just jump out of the gym, most of them. In the corner, open for three, comes up short by Avery. No good, rebound to Gunnersville. Howell lays it in, nope, rolls around the rim and comes out. And ball is knocked out of bounds. Yeah, Coach Self yelling at him to get back. It's, it's instinctive to miss a layup and then just try to defend it real quick. And uh, uh, Avery got a touch on that pass. 107 to go in the third. Asbury ball. He'll walk it up. Madden, Madden right side pass over on the wing to Morton. Morton back to the top. Gentry turns, fires a three air ball, trying to save it. They do. Asbury has it underneath for two. Off the glass, no good. Rebound back up, no good, and a foul. I think uh, Gentry has shot maybe the last five possessions has shot a three-pointer. Uh, I think he's hit one, maybe, something like that. Uh, but he's got a good-looking shot. I, I think he's forcing it. I mean, yep. down 44 points. Uh, he's definitely forcing it. Uh, but uh, I, it's, it is a good shot. It's a good-looking shot. Isaiah Black, a, a 6'3 freshman for Asbury. This is a, a good-looking young team. you got one senior, two juniors, and the rest are sophomores and freshmen. Miss on the free throw, rebound Gunnersville, 45 seconds. I'm Fusell, I shoot, because you're probably not going to see the floor again <laughs> yeah. for the rest of the game. Fusell over to Spurgeon, hands it to Perry. And there's a foul before the shot. I, I actually I didn't see that. I did see the, uh, I saw the Asbury guy fall on the floor. Right. Uh, maybe they said that uh, he ran through a screen. I, I didn't see it, but I they did either. call an offensive foul. They're giving the foul on Oakley Howell. 30 seconds, Asbury ball, down by 44. Right side on the wing, Morton. Morton baseline, kicked out of bounds. They'll keep it underneath their own goal. Tomorrow night's an off night, back on the air coming up Thursday. Uh, first game will be Douglas and Gunnersville girls playing at 6.15, then followed by the Douglas DAR boys. So speaking of Gunnersville, man, they've got their, they've got two good teams, Gunnersville Douglas has got their work cut out for them coming up. They put but Douglas played good against DAR in girls game on Monday. Yeah, and, and Douglas has got two good teams yeah. in, in this county tournament still. Interesting to see how it plays out. Down low, Fusell, the alley-oop, lays it in, and the third quarter comes to an end. We'll take a timeout after three. Gunnersville in control, 66-20. to 20. You're listening to the Marshall County Tournament on Power 107.5. People's Bank is my go-to place for banking. When you deal with people's, their goal is your success. Here at People's Bank, it's more about a relationship. I know my bankers, and I've got their cell numbers. I just call them. If we had been with a larger bank, you know, we would have just been a number. We're supported 100% by People's Bank. They're our neighbor, they're our friends. We're part of this community. I went to People's Bank because I knew they were going to take care of me. People's Bank treat us like we're the most important client they have. Lake Gunnersville Pool and Spas is your home for custom pool design and construction, along with service, sales, and repair. They're also your authorized dealer for bullfrog spas and swim spas. For your new construction or redesign of your existing personalized outdoor space, visit our large showroom located at the top of the mountain in Gunnersville. Call Lake Gunnersville Pool and Spas at 256-582-4050. Shane Vandegrift and the Lake Gunnersville Real Estate Team are proud supporters of the Gunnersville City Schools and Wildcat Athletics. 
they encourage you to get out and support your local sports. If you're thinking of buying or selling a home, the best call you can make is Lake Gunnersville Real Estate at 256-582-0112. Visit their informative website, shanev.com. They're your source for real estate in the Lake Gunnersville area. They'll support you through the entire process, just like they support the Wildcats. Since 1956 and through three generations, the C.A. Lankford Company has provided crushed limestone, sand, asphalt, and more. From large commercial projects to small jobs and residential needs. For products and services information, call 582-5723 or visit their informative website, calankford.company. First Baptist Church of Gunnersville is another proud supporter of Gunnersville High School. Best of luck to the Wildcats throughout the seasons. Almost over when they've got the uh, the sweeper guy out there sweeping the upper deck. Yeah, there's a couple of kids sitting up there, but he uh, he says, yeah. "Guys, I'm I'm working up here." Uh, Absolutely, quit you smooching for a minute. I've got a job to do. 66 to 20. Now, I'm guessing we'll have the running clock. Absolutely, Wildcats. Let's see. I would doubt uh, doubt we'll see any of the starters for the rest of the game. Don't know why you'd. Take a chance, and we won't. Looks like E.J. Havis is out there. Uh, let's see who else on the floor. On the wing for three. Shot by Gentry. No good. Ball will bounce out of bounds. We've also got a C.J. Scott on the floor. Uh, Noah Fitzgibbons. I'm with you, Fitzgibbons. Sophomore, good-looking ball player. Yeah, and, and he's uh, he's kind of an old-school look. I don't know that sounds weird, but he's, he's kind of a – he's, he's deceivingly he's strong. Yep. You, you can tell he's, he's put together. He's strong. Uh, he's a hustler. I, I've noticed that but for the first time I saw him play at Ivan. He, he hustles. He does everything right. I was on the, out on the uh, playground, and I had to pick my five. I'd want him on as one of my players. Yeah, absolutely. He's going to get some rebounds, some good defense, and he's going to just get in there and mix it up underneath. Yeah, and he's long. Like I said, he's got that old school look. Uh, it's just he's a long kid, good, solid kid. Yeah. Uh, doesn't doesn't do stuff to beat you. Uh, just gets rebounds and controls underneath the, the rim. C.J. Scott at the line shooting the free throws. First free throw, got it. And we were talking, probably not going to see him the starters back in, but I think uh, we got to go with Brandon for yourself for the player of the game. Uh, I think that's a good – I think that's yeah. a limb that you can go ahead and Man. go out on. But look at the – I mean, he had a, he and Brody Perry both had a great first half, but then Fusell came back and just um, made a statement in the second half, in, the, in 13, the third quarter. In the third quarter, he had 13 points in the third quarter. Gave him, gave him 25 for the night. So thank you to Foodland again. It's the uh, Power 107.5 Foodland player of the game. We've doing, uh, we're going to be doing this every varsity game. Earlier tonight, Maggie Patterson of Boaz was named player of the game. Uh, Hunter Smith for Albertville. Lily uh, Livingston for Arab. Picked it up earlier. And now they're each going to win a $20 gift card to Thulin. We'll get those to the school. Uh, and this is a coaching point if I'm yeah. Coach Eli Jones right here. Uh, the freshman, uh, Isaiah Black, 6'3 freshman, just blocked a shot and uh, and stared down the gunners for Yeah, player. no, don't uh, need that. It, let's, let's don't do that. You did a you, great defensive play. You stood right there where you're supposed to be. You rotated perfectly. Great job blocking. Let's – let, let's be a little bit better than that. Yeah. Uh, we're not going to do that. And he took him right out of the game. I don't know if that's why, uh, but it's if a good he move. is, kudos. Uh, sure. Kudos to Coach. We never do it, especially when you're down 48 points. I yeah. Mean, you I, definitely I mean, have no reason to do it. Yeah, we're, we're going to show a little bit more class than that. We'll just be a little bit better. Yeah. Wildcat ball. Also, Ty Yancey on the floor. 70 to 20, Gunnersville on top. Running clock, 544 to go in the game. Yancey hands it to Fitzgibbons. Back to Yancey. The Gunners will take on Albert will Friday night at 7.45. You can listen to that game here on Power 107.5. Down low, leaning in for two. Shot no good by Scott. Rebound, Asbury. Lucas, I'd, I'd like yeah. to keep up with rebounds. Sure. Uh, and I might do that one day, but he's uh, Childress. Caleb Gentry. Oh, Gentry. Yeah, I'm sorry, uh, yeah. Childress, excuse me, Childress. Uh, Childress, I guarantee, has got eight or nine rebounds. If this guy can keep growing, I mean, the size he already has, He's not just a tall 6'2". He's muscular. He's got the build where he can get in there and just push and shove. and get to, He's getting a lot of rebounds due to that. Asbury ball underneath. David McCoy inbounds it. Inbound pass. Morton in the corner. Fakes. Tries to drive. Does drive. Leans in for two. Good move. Just couldn't finish. And Gunners will get the rebound. Ty Yancey walks it across half court. Yancey dribbles here crossing half court. Coach Seth calls the play. Good chance for Gunnersville to work with the guys, uh, a second teamers. 
working on the offense, things you need them to work on. Shots no good, rebound Gunnersville. Rebound Peterson, Fitzgibbons drives in the lane, blocked there's your, there's your guy again, Trey Childress with the block in, Asbury takes it away. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I tell you, he's, he's a good looking, good looking player. Down the floor, stripped away, Gunnersville takes, takes it away, Ty Yancey down the floor. Yancey dribbles to the top. Again, keep in mind the Wildcats doing this without really one of their starters, Jackson Porch. Oh yeah, absolutely. I, there's a he's he's a an amazing basketball. Yep. I love watching that kid play. Plays hard, intelligent, uh, shoots the absolute lights yep. out of it too. Not feeling well, so he uh, gets to rest tonight. A uh, good move because uh, if you're not feeling well, I mean, why risk it when you've got this game in control without him? And maybe he'll be ready to go Friday night. Right. 3:41 to go in the game. Asbury ball. Javen McCoy walking up. Don't forget Thursday or uh, night kicks off. At the usual time, around 6.15, Gunnersville girls take on the Douglas girls, followed by the Douglas boys and the DAR boys. So both games coming up here on Power 107.5. Now, there's a lot of good basketball coming up. The Thursday and Friday yeah. is going to be a lot of fun. Of course, Saturday's always fun, but Thursday right. and Friday will be a lot of fun to watch. So the, looking ahead, I mean, the weather looks fine. Usually we have like one snow ice day right, in the yeah. county tournament, but yeah. it's a good time to get out and come watch. And go. Oh, what? How about that date, Peterson? Peterson, the junior, goes up and slams it with the left hand. Yeah, I think he took five steps Woo. without a bounce. Yeah. That was impressive. And he's got three dunks for Gunnersville tonight. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. And I think Trayvon Avery has a couple. Then Peterson finishes. 2.54 to go on the game, 70-22. to 22. As I see one of the uh, Asbury concession workers coming out with some Handing out hot dogs. I feel like she went to the wrong side. I think Barry, she should. I was about uh, to wave her down. I think you start with the help, and then you, you work your way into the crowd. I was hoping she's going to treat this like Lambert's down the Gulf Shores and just start tossing <laughs> just them. Start slinging them. I was going to raise my hand. <laughs> Never caught a weenie in my hand, but I was going to give it a shot. Oh. Yeah. 2.26 to go in the game. 70-22. This one is over really by the first quarter. Gunnersville jumped out and just showed why they are one of the best teams, not just 5A, I'm telling you. Uh, they're one of the best teams. It's gonna, I'm not saying they're they're in, the, well, they can't be beat, they can, they already have been, but you need to play your absolute A game, perfect game when you come in against the Wildcats. they just got so many weapons, Barry. Yeah. They, they can score in so many different ways, and the thing that I love about them, I, and I, I told you from the very, the very first game, if you remember, yeah. I said they're gonna be a dangerous team in January. You're right. And, and I, I lied, they are a dangerous team in December. Uh, because they, they found their identity very quickly. Uh, they, their leaders were seniors. They are seniors, uh, and, and it's, they're, they're fun to watch. And I really love, yes, their offense is great. Man, their defense and yeah. their effort is something that you just don't see a lot of. It's not just the starting five. It's the fact that they are so deep. Well, yeah, absolutely. And, and your best defenders are your best players. Yeah. Uh, and then they're your seniors. They're the ones that you count on, and they're, they when they buy into it, they make everybody else buy into it. It's a lot of fun. It's like a, a football thing. Sometimes a good defense uh, leads to championships because it gets the offense, gets them the ball back, it yeah, gets them right. more possessions. That's right. And everybody kind of gets basketball. They get hyped up a little bit. And you, more possessions, like their press yep. is, man, their press is tough. As Barry with the ball, 59 seconds left, 70 to 22, Gunnersville on top. Right side jump shot, no good. Rebound, Gunnersville, and they'll bring it down. C.J. Scott with the ball. Scott over to Yancey. They may hold, let the clock wind down. I'm sure both teams would be happy to let that happen. Nope, as Barry uh, comes out and challenges. I, you know, I love it. Just uh, I'm young enough. I, I, I understand what you're doing, and I've got just enough pride and sure. just enough fight that I'm not going to let you sit here and bounce the ball out. I'd like to get the ball one more time. I'm with him and get me another shot if possible. Again, kudos to Coach. He's over there to yeah. get up into him, get up into him. Don't let him just stand there. Eli Jones taking over for Coach Johnny Pelham, a legend. Um, I think Eli got him a good young ball team. And I think, I know it's a tough loss here, but hey, look at who you played. You never gave up. You played four full quarters. You gave it all you had. Yeah, that's right. And that's that you never gave up. Like, I mean, you're still playing hard with two seconds to go in the game. And this game is over. The Wildcats move on, winning at 70 to 22. 70 to 22, as far as final stats, it was Fusell and Perry leading the way for the Wildcats. Yeah, uh, Trayvon, I'm sorry, Trayvon Avery had 11, uh, Brody Perry had 12, and Brandon Fusell had 25 for Gunnersville for Asbury. Uh, looks like Hayden Morton had eight, uh, leading score for them, and Trey Childress had seven. 
and Caleb Gentry had six. He hit two threes. There you go. So, again, the player of the game, the uh, Foodland player of the game, congratulations to Brandon Fusell. What an amazing game. Uh, Fusell going to get a $20 gift card courtesy of Foodland. And we'll have uh, more action coming up on Thursday night. That's all for us. Again, join us Thursday. Take it tomorrow night off. Back in action Thursday. Come out and watch some good basketball. At 6.15 will be the Gunnersville girls against Douglas girls. Then 7.45, the Douglas boys take on DAR. So for Dane Dalkey, Dane, I've enjoyed it, man. Oh, yeah, Barry, I always love this. And uh, I, don't, I don't even care if the games are blowouts or not. I just like watching Marshall Absolutely. County basketball and sitting courtside and getting in free to do it. All right, again, final score in this one, the uh, Gunnersville Wildcats uh, win this one easily, 70-22. to 22. So until Thursday night for Dane Dalkey, Barry Galloway, and have a good night, everybody. Horizon Communications archives of local high school sports and school programs now spans decades and generations, covering multiple sports and programs. DVDs of these memorable events make the perfect gift for any occasion, and the cost is simple and affordable. The first game or program DVD is $20, the second game or program is $15, and then any others are only $10 each, all on their own individual DVD. Pre-1990 games converted from coaches' films are as low as $5 per game. We have hundreds of games from the late 50s on up. Give us a call at 256-582-7373, message us on Facebook, or email mharden at horizoncommunications.net to check the availability of your desired event. Let Horizon Communications help you with the gift of video to be treasured for a lifetime. As the city of Gunnersville continues to grow and prosper, your Gunnersville Water Board keeps pace with their commitment to invest in state-of-the-art facility and technology upgrades as they prepare to provide customers with unsurpassed quality of life for decades to come. Most notably, perhaps, is the extensive renovations to the award-winning Sunset Water Treatment Facility on Willow Beach Road, which supplies safe, and reliable drinking water to over 5,500 customers from Sand Mountain to Connors Island. And behind the scenes, multi-million dollar investments in infrastructure such as water towers, sewer lines, and the recent extensive renovation to the East Lake Wastewater Plant demonstrate Gunnersville Water Board's commitment to meeting the business and residential demands of this growing progressive city. For more information on the Gunnersville Water Board, including fast and easy online bill payment, visit their informative website, gvillewater.com. We know you're looking for a reliable vehicle. Heading to work? Headed to play. Checking the grandkids to the beach. Every vehicle comes with a warranty for the length of the contract. And you get a Carfax with every purchase. We make everything easy, from the application, the approval, or to the payments. We're not your ordinary buy here, pay here dealer.